So this is my um, first kind of official consumer grade product that I've been uh, developing on my own. I've had this for about six months now, but I just haven't gotten around to making a video of it. Uh, the body is uh, 3D printed. I had it printed uh, through uh, Shapeways and uh, it was printed as one entire part initially but it was actually three separate parts um, there's these two uh, covers here that basically uh, slip over and enclose this central ring here and uh, basically what this is is a a ring light specifically designed for uh, Canon uh, T2i uh, digital SLR and uh, this is not a T2i this is my this is my old camera this is a uh, an XT but uh, luckily the uh, foot for the flash hasn't actually changed so much that you can still fit it on there but here I'll just uh, quickly show this first this is how it actually attaches it's not really the most ideal method for uh, secure attachment but it works it works well and uh, this part right here uh, this projection uh, fits into the camera foot and holds it securely in place um, one thing I noticed definitely the uh, this part is designed to fit perfectly against the uh, back of the the uh, foot here but um, they change can and change the design of the foot uh, between the X T and the uh, T 2 I so it doesn't quite fit exactly right but um, here I'm going to show you exactly how this is supposed to work uh, for those who are familiar with photography, it'll be pretty obvious, basically. I mean, a, a ring light fits around the lens <coughs> of the camera, and uh, it's designed to provide even illumination, basically, uh, for whatever the is in front of the camera lens. <coughs> Typically, it's used for macro photography more than anything else but it, it can also be used for portraits and uh, this little switch here is uh, what controls the uh, flow of electricity to the ring of LEDs and I'll just give you a quick demo to show how bright it is <laughs> so yeah it's actually quite bright I mean at least for macro and for portrait photography uh, the thing is the light metering is a little bit off on this camera so uh, you can't really get an exact idea of how much light it puts off but this is kind of approximate I mean you can see how much light it's putting off and uh, the reason that I basically designed this instead of just buying a uh, a pre-made ring light is first of all ring lights are kind of expensive and uh, second of all well I like doing things DIY but um, the real reason was because they don't really make ring lights at least to my knowledge or research that have this feature which is basically the ability to um, change the concentration of light and uh, so this is really a diffuser right here but as you can see it can be flipped up and then basically you have the full power of the the LED array which uh, can provide a ton of illumination for portraits I mean like significant lighting so that's kind of a unique feature that um, you won't really find in any other 
ring light. <clears throat> um, although I'd have to say, realistically, um, this this project was more for me just to gauge and uh, my understanding of uh, engineering, and uh, I'd say it turned out pretty well. I mean, it wasn't perfect. There are a few minor flaws in the design, but overall, I'm really pleased with the results. I'll just kind of give an overview of the the features. Uh, <clears throat> uh, all right, I'll start with the uh, the ring here. I uh, I created kind of like a Lego esque sort of catchment here that uh, allows the two rings to snap together securely, yet it's still relatively easy to get them apart without straining the design. Um, the hinging system is. Uh, is designed to provide a uh, high tension or high friction so that basically the hinge will stay up all by itself and won't be flopping around a lot and that was successful and that of course is accomplished by creating a lot of uh, a lot of leaves so that it, it basically increases the friction these two metal pins of course were not 3d printed those are just tack nails that I filed down <coughs> for for pins for the hinge system. Um, as far as actually constructing this, I got these LEDs off of eBay. They're really cheap. I couldn't believe it. It was like uh, 50 for 12 bucks or something. It was kind of ridiculous. Anyway, these are 45 degree um, emanation white LEDs and uh, this is just a wire that I bent and soldered to each uh, contact which was it took me literally like I don't know 10 minutes to do each each side of this rail that I made here and uh, I was expecting it to be a lot more challenging but it was actually really easy and uh, of course these are five millimeter LEDs and the nice thing about 3D printing is your tolerances are so precise that you can basically uh, do whatever you want in terms of you know getting the specifications right as long as you're within the capabilities of the 3D printing and uh, so there's a little wires that go down into this groove and there's actually a channel you can't see it because it's inside here there's a channel that goes from one end of this uh, to the other and uh, it passes through a little groove here which is where I put the switch and that's epoxy holding the switch in and then uh, I'll try to show how this works basically these are designed to be flexible so that you can you can remove the battery pack for charging and that that worked pretty well I mean it wasn't it wasn't a perfect tolerance so I had to file down the battery pack a little but that's easy enough to fix in a design revision but uh, yeah the wires go into a little groove there so overall I think it's a pretty pretty dependable system for uh, for everything and uh, yeah so that's that's basically the design and it's pretty impressive that really that that this kind of a, a complex mechanism is a uh, 3D printable, but really not any more than what you would expect from advanced 3D printing technology. So yeah, this was just an experiment to uh, test my manufacturing abilities. I very carefully measured the tolerances of the camera with the calipers and millimeter. Re uh, ruler to uh, make sure that I had all the measurements accurate 
I did the same with the battery pack which wasn't very precise but overall I'm really pleased with the results and uh, uh, probably probably the best part is just how incredibly bright it is I was just kind of amazed with uh, how well I mean that was something I couldn't have really planned perfectly I mean I could have but it would have taken a lot of uh, uh, computation that's not really my strong suit and uh, anyway I think uh, I think this turned out pretty well and uh, not that anyone would actually want to do this but you could actually uh, have a copy of this 3d printed yourself and recreate it <coughs> for uh, about 70 bucks and uh, so I hope you found this informative and thanks for watching